Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is think before you speak in your relationship. Some people get triggered really easily when it comes to having an argument. It's really important to pick your battles. If you're going to be with somebody for many years down the road, you have to learn what works for you as a couple. If you're constantly having an argument, there has to be a clear and valid reason why this needs to be a discussion. Because if everything is turning into an argument because you're frustrated about maybe what's going on in your own life, what's happening at work, maybe what's not getting done at home, it becomes really not a nice place to be a part of because everybody's always angry. And what happens is some people might be a little more argumentative than their partners. And this also causes problems because the partners on the more quiet side, and maybe you're the one that's a bit more assertive and gets triggered a lot easier. You have to come to a compromise. Unfortunately, this is something that a lot of people don't know how to do or continue to do in a long-term relationship. It is the most valuable thing you can learn. It is something that will keep you really close as a couple when you learn how to, to, to pick your battles, to fight when it's necessary to fight, not just for any little thing. And this is what's happening right now. The world has changed. It's not the same place it was four or five years ago. People are frustrated with the money part of their life. They're struggling. There's a lot of things going on in the world that aren't pleasant. I'm not trying to be Debbie Downer here, but it's just the way it is. And so what happens, it's hard to stay optimistic all the time. We all understand that. But if you can at least keep your home in a nice, nice, safe space, a comfortable place, harmonious, and where you can talk to each other. That is the best thing you can do for your future and for your own happiness because you chose to live with this person. Let's make the best of it. A lot of people, are, as they say, are frustrated. So they're, they're fighting about a lot of little things that really don't have a place to have an argument about. Mainly it's because of maybe what's not happening in their own life or something that's just getting out of hand and they need to try and fix. Don't choose your partner to do this with. Try and find out what it is that keeps making you upset about certain things. Sit down and have the tough conversation with your partner if there's something that really does need to be fixed. And if it's continually being repetitive, the argument that really needs to be addressed because if it's something just every day about a little picky thing that's a different story if it's something that either you or your partner are not adhering to you're not putting in your your weight on something within the relationship this needs to be changed they have a valid reason for bringing up the argument so rather than get upset about it Try and fix it. Try and repair what's going on here. Do they have a valid point about what they're upset about? And that if they do, just try and work around that to whatever you can do to change up the pattern here. Some of us are just a little more feisty than others, you know? And we have to sit down and say to ourselves, okay, I gotta take some time to think about this before I just blurt out what I wanna say. I need to Maybe take a few minutes. Maybe I need to just walk out of the room for a sec, tell my partner, just give me five. Go and have a little chat with yourself around the corner and just say, how can I make this better? The first thing that I find with a lot of people is they do the word you. If you can change how you verbalize the start of the argument, the start of the conversation by saying, I really feel hurt about this situation. I feel that we could work on it this way together as a couple, as opposed to you are doing this, you are pissing me off, all those kind of things. This is where a lot of people make the mistake. And there has to be diplomacy in your delivery when you're trying to make a point. Because if you don't come in there with a well thought out, constructive, uh, conversation with your partner 
they're going to shut off. They're not going to listen to you because they've heard it before. So think about what you want to say before you blurt it out. I know that can be a difficult thing for some people, but once you take a little bit of time to adjust to this new behavior, it works quite well. And then your partner doesn't automatically get defensive because you're not using an accusatory accusatory tone towards them. And that's what starts a lot of arguments, is how it comes out. A lot of people overreact too quickly because they get defensive about something they don't want to hear. Sometimes we need to hear it. Sometimes we need to tell our partner. Sometimes we need to change what we're doing. Rather than pointing fingers at each other, find a constructive way to fix the conflict that's happening, especially if it's a repetitive pattern. When you're not in the heat of the moment about the argument, talk to them about it outside. Like you're out for a walk, you're out having a bite to eat at lunch somewhere. Just say, hey, you know, I I really don't want you to get upset about this, but this is what I think we could do to fix this situation. How do you feel about that? Like bring it up when there's no heated discussion already happening because sometimes we just shut each other off when that's going on. Here we go again. I don't want to hear this crap over and over and over again. But if you talk about it when you're not in that heat of the moment, you can have a very civil conversation about it. And your partner will be more open to listening because they're not already mad. And that works wonders. It's also good if you're not a great communicator to write things down and maybe give your partner a a little bit of a, a message when they go to work or something, they can read it later and just say, look, I don't wanna have a fight about this. This is just how I'm feeling. Um, what do you think about this? Could we try working this way together? What would you suggest we do? What can we do to compromise and make this work? Sometimes we're just not good communicators at how we want to put our point across. And that's what gets people into trouble in their relationships. They just don't have the tools on how to bring it forward. It's not an ego-driven situation when you're in a relationship. It's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be communicative and a combined way of looking at things. Couples have to learn patience. And I know we all know that one. That's a big one. But we also have to be open to listening to our partner and hearing what they say. Because they're not just saying it for no reason. It's important to them. Just as it's important as what you want to get across to your partner. So when you start to understand this and realize, wow, okay, that works really well. I'm not being defensive. I'm not getting angry because my partner isn't happy about something. I'm actually listening and giving some valid feedback and and, and understanding why maybe they're frustrated. And now maybe they'll understand why I'm frustrated because we're not yelling at each other. We're actually talking about it. This is called relationship etiquette. And a lot of people forget about that as the years go by because they get frustrated. They get tired of having to be all diplomatic about everything. They just want to let her rip. But that's not good. It's not conducive to to nurturing a relationship. And one of the final points I'd like to make here is please don't just walk out of the room if you don't like what your partner's saying. I've done videos on that as well because it is a really big problem in a lot of relationships. People don't want to hear it. They just shut the door. They walk out of the room and they don't discuss it. So what ends up happening, the partnership starts to disintegrate more and more every time somebody does that because they want to feel heard. They want to feel validated that they matter. When you take the time to really listen to your partner and hear their side of what might have happened in the argument, Sometimes it makes sense. When you have a little bit of time to think about it and you're not jumping out and just throwing out something angry in the heat of the moment, sometimes their opinion can actually change your viewpoint down the road. It doesn't mean that it's going to be something that always happens, but you may see a different side of things. And this is what's great and helps a couple evolve because you're not shrugging each other off. You're hearing each other, and that's what makes a good relationship. 
Thank you so much for tuning in today. Please subscribe to Dear Cyber Sue if you haven't already done so. Please click like on the video and leave any comments you have or any show topics underneath the video here. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye-bye.